Hello everyone, greetings of the day. I am Srinivas, currently pursuing a computer vision and IoT internship under the Sparks Foundation. I am going to explain my task one, that is object detection or optical character recognition. The learning objective of the content is mainly focused on YOLO version 4. In this, class labels are used to as Coco dataset with the integration of Darknet Convolution Neural Network. And to illustrate the case study, Google Colab is used. The aim of the task is to find out the multiple objects in the given image. The user can upload any image in JPG format and it is subjected to the YOLO object detection. A final output should be the image with the identification of different objects including probabilities as shown here. Let's see the brief introduction of the YOLO version 4. Here, YOLO stands for you only look once. As the name suggested, the algorithm look at image feature vectors only once. In contrast, RCNN algorithm extract the multiple regions of interest from an image and passes through the convolution neural network multiple times. But in the case of YOLO, it will pass only once. And the advantage of the YOLO algorithm is incredibly fast and accurate. For illustration, an image is considered with 3 by 3 grid cells as shown in figure. Each cell is known as anchor box and represent as a vector with its values. For example, user want to identify the three class label present in the image such as horse, car or a person. Then the size of vector for each anchor box is 8 by 1. In the vector, first element represent whether the object is present or not. If we see the first three anchor boxes in the image, there is no object present either horse, car or person, then the element value will become zero. When coming to the middle box, if an object is present from class label, even partially, then the value is one. Here a car is present partially and in the next box car is present fully. In these two cases, the the first value of the vector will become 1. Next four elements of the vector are nothing but bonding box values. So here if you consider this car, the bonding box is represented in red color. Now these four elements are nothing but the left top corner xy coordinates. So that is bx comma by and the bonding box height is represented as bh and width of the bonding box is bw. So these four values are represented in, in here. That is a vector, second, third, fourth and fifth elements. The last three elements are class of the labels. In this image, both objects are cars. Because of the same, C2 element will become one. And other, there is no presence of person and horse. So these two elements will become zero. So in, in all the cases, first five elements are same. However, the next elements are depend on the size of class labels. So to find the output vector size, the equations are shown here. So in this S stands for grid size, B stands for objects per anchor and C stands for class size. In real case scenario, the grid size for the darknet is considered as 13 by 13 and objects per anchor is 3. So here object per anchor is nothing but if you focus on this grid, in same anchor box, three different objects are present like car 1, car 2 and traffic light here. So in our example, the each anchor box detect only one object. But in real case scenario, in each anchor box we can extend to detect the multiple objects. So in our study of the dark net, we are restricted to up to the threshold value 3. And we are considered as class labels are 80. So if you use this equation, S is equal to 13, B is equal to 3 and C is equal to 18, we can get the 43,095 by 1 vector size. And in our example, our S is equal to 3, B is equal to 1, which means we are detecting only one object per anchor and C is equal to 3. The final vector size is 72 by 1. So this final vector size we are giving as input to the convolution network, which is nothing but darknet. So 
the algorithm will go the forward and backward pass and it will predict the values now we will focus what is class labels 18 for class label 80s we are using coco data set where coco stands for common objects in contest this data set consists of 80 object as shown in figure we can find the detailed explanation using the link that is coco data set org.org here we can find the explore option in the data set and user can find the object names by placing cursor on the image so we can change the cursor position and we can find the labels of the individual images and we can select the image and search relevant examples for analysis let us say i will search for traffic light and when you go for the search i found 4330 results so from the quick links we can able to identify the different objects present in the image for example i would like to highlight only the persons which are present in the box so so here only cars are highlighted now in this only motorcycles are highlighted now using the url one can able to find out the original image of this an example so we can use this this as an example when we are developing our code So when coming to the CSP Darknet, it is an open source convolution neural network developed on C++. It has a total 162 layers and deductions are made at 139, 150 and 161 layers for large, medium and small scale images respectively. So this vector size is subjected to the CSP Darknet and it will lead to the predictions. And the detailed explanation one can able to find by the using of this link provided in the description. Google Colab. Colab is a virtual Linux mission. User can operate it remotely. Colab is a hosted Jupyter notebook service that requires no setup to use. It means we no need to install various packages such as OpenCV, Keras, etc. The old computers don't consist of graphic cards, then it is a time consuming to run deep learning algorithms. Google Colab provides the free access to computing resources including GPUs, which is a great advantage and you only need Gmail account to use this Google Collaboratory, that's it. Let's go to the code part. Just search the Google Colab in your browser. You can select the first link and we can upload the files from Google Drive, GitHub and from your local mission. You can choose the file for the programming. So this file I'll add in the description. So user can able to download it for your reference. So in this First, we need to clone the darknet repository from alexab github account using this command. So the, now it is in current directory, there is no darknet folder. Once if you run this file, the Google start connecting to the virtual machine. So after cloning is completed, we can able to find, find out the darknet folder which is present in the current directory. Initially, I'll clear all the output statements here. And make sure we are activating OpenCV and GPU in the virtual mission. So the last two commands are used to speed up the process. Right, we can able to see the darknet folder in the current directory. Now user can also find the version of CUDA which is present on virtual machine and it is a 10th version. Now here make command is used, it will build the darknet architecture using the same user can execute the files. Basically it is written in C++ as stated earlier, it will take a little more time to build the model. So this is the main heart of the program, so which is already re readymadely available in our github 
so we can build this darknet model it will take a little time now as i state, stated earlier this is this is a pre model developed already in github so ready made weights are available for yolo version 4 so user can get this weights by using this command and similarly the google collab won't provide the graphical interface because of the same uh, objective functions are created here so this is categorized into three parts in the first part we are importing the required libraries like mat matplotlib and we are resizing the image based on our requirement and we are using the plot commands for visualization in the second part user can upload the image from for object detection from your local machine and in the third part user can able to download the processed image so these three are user defined objective functions these are helpful for visualization and uploading or downloading the files now this is a main command which will give the results for our sample images so in this we are asking the darknet model so here dot backslash is nothing but current directory command so we are access the current directory darknet model to test the coco configuration so here from the darknet one can able to find the configuration file in the configuration folder we are having coco data so we'll just have a look on the coco data and at the same time we are using developed model yolo v4 along with weights right so at the same time we will download this coco names also this coco names download it so here in this coco data it will take the names from here data dot names so we can also check this coco names so these are all names already we are seen in the website so total 80 names are there so we are using this coco data set now person sample file is also present in the data folder so we can access that too we can go to the data file so in data file one can able to see the person image so we can download it so we are going to apply the yolo version v4 on this image so this is the input so output can able to detect the images with the probabilities that we have to check once if it is done now we can see the convolution layer how it will work so as stated earlier so the architecture detects the objects at 139 151 and 161 so you can see the scale of the image so it will detect the large images medium size images and smaller images and to detect the predictions it is taken only 55 milliseconds and it is detected a dog person horse from the image with the probabilities 99 198 as stated earlier yolo version 4 is very fast and accurate and so it cannot open the display so because of the same we are defined some user functions now i am using im show function for the visualization so here predictions the file is saved in predictions we can see here detected three objects with it probabilities now if you want to find out the sample images from your local mission you can use this command piece of code and when you run it the dialog box will be open choose the file you can select any image from your local mission so and after that it will process the file with the name called persons.jpg so here we need to change the file name so that is person.jpg according to your file names 
But if you focus here, we are making two dots. So now your person dot jpg is not in the darknet directory. Right? Once if it is done, it is outside of that. So that's why we are making here two dots. So your person dot jpg in one step back side of your current directory. Now when you run it, and the convolution will goes and and we are asking the same predictions dot jpg in the same command. Now similarly, it is detected at three stages, and it it took fifty five milliseconds, and these are the different objects detected from the image. Now by the use of this command, the user can able to download the prediction dot jpg file. So it will be saved in your local machine, and this image is nicely detected the multiple objects in the file. And at the same time, it is also detected a person who has sit in sit inside the car. And it also followed the color code like persons are represented in magenta color, cars are in yellow, and fire hydrant. So here one fire hydrant is also present, which are shown in red color. That's all. Thank you. Please drop your suggestions in the comment section.